Yeah, so thank you. I was asking to you, what about you? You are keeping fast for Janmashtami or not? Yes. Okay, that's great to hear. Even though from my side also, my sister, I think uh, my sister, it's my mother, she's going to keep fast, but <laughs> I am just fearing from the, I think, you know, fast. When I used to live in a hostel, I was very crazy. When I think, you know, I shifted my, I think, in hostel, I was just uh, putting fast and keeping fast, but my mother, I think, denied once. And after that, I left, I think, you know, keeping fast. And nowadays, I'm not doing that. So, yeah, but that is also the good experience. So. Yeah, you know, uh, as scientific, it is also proof that fast, it is a benefit, beneficial for your health. As a means uh, scientifically. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But everything is uh, going to be fail, I think, in the front of me. <laughs> So I'm not <laughs> caring about science a lot. I'm a student of commerce. I'm thinking. <laughs> so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's why. But that's really good. So do you like this festival, like Krishna Janmashtami? It is the one of the best festival in our country. And uh, of course, I think it is very enjoyable. When I I was child, I was enjoying a lot, and that was really funny. Yeah, it's really very funny and uh, I definitely like it and not not only me and you know, I think everyone likes this festival and this is a special festival for Lord Krishna, their birthday, so everyone just prepare for this and uh, start to, you know, also there is a, a, some ceremony, like a song, it happens, so I need to uh, do this and also, uh, you know, I observed in the past the most of the time, you know, the uh, police inspector, their, their uh, chalky, that was also decorated. And I observed many times uh, some other places that was like, a, you know, something different for something different. But uh, they decorated that for only for Lord Krishna birthday. And they also celebrated uh, with some kirtan and also really it's a very energetic festival and good. Yeah. That's really great. Now I now the people they would like to celebrate birthday with a cake. <laughs> I have seen this is a modern culture. Now the people they would like to celebrate like Krishna Janmashtami with a cake like that. They would like to cut the cake, I think, for the Krishna. And they would like to wish happy birthday to him. Yeah, yeah. Might be people are doing this. So and, it but, is a mixture uh, of modern and not. old culture. <laughs> it is a mixture of both. <laughs> yeah yeah it's okay because if you are so much you know enthusiastic for doing something like you are also celebrating your birthday with cake so obviously you can celebrate uh, him birthday with cake no issue and that's yes. a people's uh, choice whatever. so which kind of things you have purchased for decorating your like you know uh, Elmira for that what you purchased yeah, yeah. So, you know, first thing that is, uh, uh, there is Laddu Gopal, you know, Lord Krishna. Mm. And also, yeah, uh, you know, him, uh, his crown, everything, whatever he had to wear. Yeah, exactly. And uh, a part of this, it's been lighting, you know, with lighting, we had to uh, decorate my temple. In front of my home, there is temple. So, we had to de decorate not only me, with family. So there is a lot of things with lighting and uh, some other, you know, some other balloon and all we use for that. Yes, of course. I think it is very, I think, grand festival. I do like very much when the people, uh, they are just, you know, waking up until I think uh, night, like 12 o'clock. That's so fascinating. So Sikha ma'am, I would like to clear yes, one thing. Are you getting my voice and video in a right way or just something wrong with that? Because I think from my side, I'm not getting your proper video. Weather is, I oh. think, you know, but you got you... rain from your side. Maybe some network issue on my side because I'm getting your voice clearly with your video. Yeah, that's really great. I'm really happy for that. But from your side, your video is not stable. And uh, apart from this, even though I'm not able to see you that much, I think, you know, clearly. Okay, I think no issue.
but i'm listening your voice that's more than enough so thank you of course we can't change the network so we have to suffer this and we have to adjust this problems because sometimes network is very terrible so yeah yeah okay so now i'm moving like you would like to talk randomly about this festival janmashtami or just or just you would like to go forward with the topic so what do you think yeah 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 our topic is gossip so i think we are also gossiping something about lord krishna festival so yeah exactly so I what do you we think can. we can go forward with uh, janmashtami we can talk about janmashtami right right sure 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 so yeah of course so what i would like to ask one question to you like that uh, why we are celebrating krishna janmashtami like you know what's the main uh, i can say that you know reason behind it and why it is so grand in uh, i think country yeah yeah okay uh, because uh, as you know that this is the birthday of uh, lord krishna so uh, means our you know they started to celebrate this festival and uh, uh, we are have heard this that uh, in that day you know the lord krishna he born and uh, because we know that uh, how was their you know uh, yeah i think uh, means a life history we are know very well uh, he born and that was something uh, for uh, for that devi and uh, you, you know vasudev so uh, i like he sh- saved her, his life and uh, ran, means uh, you know uh, the khan who was uh, her you know, maternal uncle so he wants he wanted to just uh, die so i started like this i think uh, that's why the uh, ancestors they start to uh, celebrate this session not just uh, following our ancestor by doing this yeah exactly i'm totally agree with you and uh, the same i think the story because they took birth that's why we are celebrating this and this is ro- i think very i think interesting festival because rama and krishna are the i think you know strongest pillar of uh, i think you know dharma and a kind of religion so that's why we are giving a lot more importance to krishna and rama and uh, we do like to so what do you think do you like to visit mathura vrindavan and gokul so you would love to visit because uh, on the on the krishna janmashtami it is so fantastic of course if you will go there and uh, if you will visit there on janmashtami so i think you know fascinating and you know unforgettable memory will be there so you would like to visit over there like i think in your life definitely this is a holistic i definitely like to visit there and i visited once and that was uh, you know that was really very very fascinating for me and uh, i i had so many you know statues of lord krishna and the temple that was really uh, so we are we were feeling like uh, we are in heaven and uh, we were so exciting and just like a uh, some meditation feeling very calm relaxed yeah so we didn't get more chance to stay stay there but yeah uh, whatever we got the chance and uh, we just stayed for a while but that was really very very fascinating for me and uh, i was so ex- excited to go next time whenever i'll get chance oh that's really great to hear and i think you know have you seen the iskon temple i think you have any idea about iskon iskon is a kind of society where the people from foreign countries also they are coming and just chanting hare krishna and hare rama Uh, i have seen a lot more foreigners who i think you know who are chanting this and that is looking so nice because the people they do like the krishna culture and they are just coming from another countries as well and they are chanting here and you know this hari krishna and hari rama movement is con i think you might heard about it is con temples yeah i you know i heard about this uh, but yeah i you know i never visited so yes i had no much more idea but uh, yes i also saw foreigners uh, about their chanting and even uh, you know even one, i saw one foreigner uh, see see you know see has a former foreigner uh, but 
I don't know. She knows everything in Sanskrit. You know, everything in Sanskrit. She can chant very, very uh, smoothly than us. Yes, really, that was amazing. And I saw a video of uh, her. So that's why I mean, they are following. Sometimes you know, they are following our culture. So it it's really a, a very, very interesting thing for us that uh, our culture is also spreading everywhere. Yeah, exactly. They are really, I think, interested about it because they are look. They are just finding it very fascinating, and they are finding happiness, trying to just give their level best to the Krishna, and always they are getting happiness. That that's why they are happy because what they would like to think in U.S. in U.K. like the people they are always you know living in their materialistic life. They don't have the time except their professional life, right? but when they are coming india just they are liking this family culture they are liking that the people they are very devoted for the god whole the day they are giving for it chanting for it and they are very happy because they don't care about the money i think you know the few monks they never care about this kind of stuff like you know uh, means and, and uh, like cards and a lot more stuff like that that's why they are happy with this and they are living with nature that's so fascinating for them and they are just you know liking this culture they would like to when the foreigner they will come they would like to wear the sari over here but the we people are feeling like you know because of course i think we are not giving value to the things whatever we have whatever we don't have we, we are just you know running behind it as like you know we are learning their language so they are also want to learn our language and to understand because uh, yes not only a single foreigner that i had you know saw uh, over there i think some other but uh, she was something uh, you know something unique she had no near uh, no sanskrit and she started to chant in sanskrit the video of her brother yes, many more people rather than her and uh, every day you know in every uh, i think uh, season we shall many just uh, they are coming here and they are doing things that we are not giving so much value as you mentioned right and but they are so excited too much about this and if we you know if we will get chance yeah, so we definitely we also will be so excited for uh, you know adopt their culture and uh, to look what are going on so i like they are interested in there Yeah, exactly. Of course, I think I'm totally agree with you. So now I would like to ask Sikha Ma'am one question to you. So ha- have you any very like you know interesting memory about your childhood when you enjoyed a lot with your friends and neighborhood people in the Janmashtami? Because I think neighbors, I think you know they are celebrating a lot. So do you have any very interesting memory about Janmashtami when you enjoyed a lot? Yeah, well, you know, once I enjoyed. that uh, yeah i was a not so much uh, kid but yes i was not mature not a well mature <laughs> i can say under under 13 so that time i had visited uh, one temple so that time you know the, uh, there is no temple in my home so i had visited some other temple for uh, knowing that how is it celebrating and i was not alone there was some my friend and all but uh, we you know we didn't get the how much time it passed and we just walked in many temples we visited many temples not only one i think around 5 to 6 and the time was passed and we saw the time around after 12 pm you know the you can say the next day and uh, that time uh, we thought okay, we should give this space and we just came back <laughs> at home so that time uh, you know our parents they something they scolded because this is not good for you Uh, we have given you chance okay you can go then you just uh, you know miss you the chance so don't do this again so <laughs> but uh, we didn't care about this uh, we only focus that uh, yeah we enjoyed a lot we visited the temples and we you know saw many things and we were alone because no one like our parents and all who can you know just push us that do this so we just enjoyed like this so that's why that was one memory about janmashtami and but but you know uh, we were also took fast at the same day but when we came so we were so craving to have something <laughs> yeah after that we just had something and then we took a sleep i think so that was one memory 
but I think I used it. I used it. Yeah, exactly. That's really great to hear. I think you enjoyed a lot with your friends, but your parents, I think, you know, scolded you. So I think yeah, it is happening usually when you are just, you know, doing a lot more fun. The, this is the duty of parents to remind you and just give you a reminder. Of course, I think it's out of limit. So of course, it is happening. I think, you know, it happened to me a lot as well. So, but after that also the fun is fun and this is life, it is happening. Sometimes we are just not caring about the parents. We're not thinking they gave us time and we are just, you know, indulging that kind of things. And sometimes we are getting scolding as well. So yeah, this is happening. So now I would like to ask the one question to you, like how you would like to celebrate this Janmashtami? Like if you, will, if you would love to tell me in the brief, how you would love to celebrate today like that? you know uh, there is we have to celebrate with some offering with some offering with some uh, decoration that i already mentioned and uh, also in the evening we just start you know, we just start some worship and after worship uh, we you know we take some rest i mean like a rest like with song we started you know some sound for dancing also so there is uh, some sounds uh, for dancing songs it it all over there and uh, along with this after you know after the time will be coming like uh, 12 so at the time we stop everything like song and song uh, dancing okay we we have to stop and we just start chanting some uh, mantra like you know so and uh, okay we have to just uh, celebrate it uh, with our family with the visitors and neighbors who are come over there so like this, but it is very, you know, very, very interesting because in this day we get together and we enjoyed it. That's why I like this festival. Mostly you know, if we are out of the home, so we also came only for this festival. Yes, that's really great to hear. But yeah, I'm remembering, I think it's really hilarious from my side. Whenever it is going to be 12, I think I was always sleeping like that after that. My my mom was, I think, saying just wake up and just enjoy. It is going to be 12 and just enjoy the birthday of Krishna. So it used to be happen. But in the hostel, I think, you know, I was enjoying a lot because what was happening, I used to live in a hostel. So there my friends and the juniors, they used to celebrate and they used to decorate their house and lawn like, I think, you know, dormitory, like, you know, houses. And it was so fantastic. They were just, you know, they were just decorating from the, I think, seeds, bad seeds and a lot more things. And it was really beautiful because I spent almost my seven to seven to eight years in, I think, hostel. And the last year before COVID also in 2019, they just, you know, hang a one, I think, you know, just, you know, picture over there. And they did that in the, I think, hostel also. It was so enjoying. <laughs> Hassel and Vashel were there and it was so funny, I think. You know, that was the first, I think, festival of mine in university because I was there in uh, approximately in August. And after that, this was the first uh, festival in a hostel. So I enjoyed a lot and we did a lot more dance without any limitation because there are no parents and we were doing the things unlimited yeah. like that, you know? So we enjoyed and of course I used to uh, enjoy this festival from the last 20, 2012, 2012 and uh, no parents were there. So that's why I enjoyed a lot this festival and I do have a lot more memories and I do like this. So mm -hmm. it's really fascinating. So what about you and your neighbor? I think neighbors, they would like to chant and they would like to do some kind of kirtans as well. Right? Sometimes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They also, they also involve uh, because uh, this is a God <laughs> festival. So there is no any restriction. Everyone involved without any foundation who wants to dance they can dance who wants to sing they can sing so there is no any limitation who wants uh, you know some chant uh, and who want to worship so everything is available for everyone and uh, you know in the new year uh, you know get ready for enjoying and for celebrating this like uh, you know in the, in the beginning uh, sometimes uh, uh, we didn't get ready, you know, we didn't get ready for, for worship. So that time, he, mother, she asked, as like, it's your birthday, then you always get ready for your birthday. So like you, this is Lord Krishna birthday, so you should just, you know, get ready for him also. 
So like this, we started to celebrate. Yes, and then we are just you know singing the song like Nand ke Anand Vayu Jai Kanaiya Lal ki. <laughs> Is exact at twelve. Yeah, exactly. Of course, I remembered. And before that, the few people they are just you know using the sound and they are just you know playing that song like "Rangi Gubbaron Se Mandap Sajaya Hai." Hum sab bolenge Happy Birthday to you like that. <laughs> so yes, it's yes, really yes. interesting. I do like this song very much because this is so. I sometimes I used to play this song on my birthdays as well because that is so fascinating. Oh. Song. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, that's a good. And now I'm coming towards the prasada like that. You know, the part of prasada. So Chand Charna Amrit is very, very. I think you know, uh, delicious and mouth watering. I think you know, everybody like it. So. Yeah, yeah, sure. It is very delicious. Everyone wants more. <laughs> you know, if uh, if you are going, giving, <laughs> yeah. So I, I also, I also like it. Yeah, exactly. I when I used to sleep, but I was waking up only for the prasada. When it will be over, I will get prasad. That will be. that will be really mouth watering and delicious and that is looking so tasty and of course i think prashad is prashad uh, we can't compare yeah. anything yeah we can't compare yes yeah really right uh, because you know you, uh, you can say the like uh, one prashad that is bandara and whatever happening so that really this is very very amazing delicious and even if the same thing if you will make at your home you don't like If you don't like, yeah. but uh, the prashad whatever is going bandara, that that very very delicious. So that's why, just like uh, you know the god only god, so that's why it is a uh, something unique for everyone. Yeah, exactly. That's the great belief, like that. You know, if we are gonna eat in bandara, that's so fascinating. If you will make like vegetables, and they are just you know making without peeling like potatoes and some stuff. just you will get the big big tomatoes like full tomatoes they will not they are even though they are not cutting it okay. but after that also it is looking so tasty because it is a kind like aastha and sardha and like you know this is a kind of belief like that we do have when we are going to just take the prasada of god that is so good and uh, yeah you can also feel the same things in gurudwara as well when they people they are just going in the uh, golden temple of course i think when they are getting prasada that's that's really awesome Yes, yes, yes. Even I once, you know, I once I heard uh, the prasad in Gurudwara. So th- means if the same thing, if you will make at home, really you don't gonna have it. But that was something we liked without any, you know, think that how is it made and all. But we liked and we loved that so much. So that's a prasad, is a prasad. Yeah, that's the God's grace, actually, you know. God, God is giving and helping us to make that stuff. That's why we are liking it a lot. And of course, I do like very much the prasada of this festival as well. This is, I think, very interesting part for me actually. <laughs> When I was in hostel as well at that point of time in Raksha Bandhan, also I was waiting for only sweets. <laughs> yeah, and I was going in the hostel just waiting for the like you know I think uh, just sweets like mithai and where will be the like dishes. i will get one and i will eat so uh, i used to go there and i was i uh, just uh, waiting for my turn again and again i was getting two or three like you know yeah. raksha shutra and because i will get more and more sweets <laughs> <laughs> okay so i do have a lot more memories about this kind of festivals because in hostel of course you enjoyed a lot you enjoyed the things with your extreme yeah right so that's really really interesting for me and you people are also enjoying now you are so happy and you must be happy because god gives you a job everything whatever you wanted and whatever you want now everything is going to be okay so you have to believe in god and you have to do something for i think him you have to be very happy because this is giving the peace yes. to us definitely definitely we have Lot believe. Yes, of course. 
So yes, I think Sikha Mem. So anything else you would like to share about Krishna Janmashtami? We did conversation about this great festival, and I'm so happy because we got a chance to talk about this. Because rarely we are getting chance to talk about this kind of festivals, right? I'm trying. You are definitely right because uh, you know uh, we are giving chance to someone something else. But like this festival, this is very very special for everyone. But people they are not giving attention much more. So yes. you know this uh, that is something that we have enjoy. Is it a small yeah. or a big? Don't matter. Yes, exactly. Okay. Yeah. So I think okay. okay. I think Shikha, ma'am, it's really nice conversation, and I enjoyed a lot. I got, uh, I think, I recalled a lot more memories <laughs> of mine like that. You know, that is so funny. And of course, when I'm, I think, thinking back, that I think I just, I think eagerly I want to go back, but I think it's not possible. So yeah, these are the memories only. So we can remember that, and we can be happy and sad as well. So yeah, that's all. So about the today, I can say that you know. I think. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, yeah, we feel about this. We got. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Okay, okay, go ahead. You are saying something. Yes, I think I was talking about like you know feedback part. So right now, I think instantly you said before like you know. Uh, I think you know it doesn't matter. You have to say it. Don't. I think you said like right. But except that, I think you know you are not doing a lot more mistakes. I'm very happy because you are able to talk about confidently about the topics, whatever I want. <laughs> the topic was gossip, <laughs> but we were talking about the Krishna Janmashtami. So now your yeah, level is going to be very okay, and it means we are able to talk about anything, like any issue. So I'm very happy for that, and you are a good teacher. So you must be a good, I think, speaker. I want to see yourself as a good communicator. So that's really fine with you, and I will. Wish you a good Janmashtami today, and keep continue doing this, and uh, keep talking about the different different topics that will give you a lot more exposure, and you will be able to make understand to your students about it. Maybe after this COVID, the situation is gonna be okay. Then you will get your students, and you will have the good speaking skills as well. Then you will be able to convince them by Hindi and English, both languages. If you are getting a good stage, you can talk in English. If you are getting like uh, two students, you can talk to them in Hindi. That's really great. Now you should have the two options to make understand to the people. So I'm very happy for yeah, that because yeah. you are you are going well. So all the best and keep doing work. I think keep doing work for the YouTube because that will help you a lot. And keep uploading videos and that's that's gonna be really okay for you and that will give you a lot more exposure. So yeah. So all the best. All the best. And, yeah. Okay. So okay she come and bye bye